Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker. I'm with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the Barker Celtic Weave or simply the Celtic Weave in the round. I'm going to show you this is actually the bottom uh, the bottom foundation row and I'm working this like you could say in the round it's actually an, more like an oval but um, I am working this stitch um, in the round if you've never seen this or attempted this stitch before, I would encourage you to go watch the video simply um, labeled Celtic Weave, and that'll give you an idea of what and how to do this stitch. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I'm going to mostly be talking about how to do this in the round. Okay, um, I, I am working from the back post treble crochet, and I have worked all the way around my row. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it to the very first treble crochet of this row. Um, and here is the chain. Notice the, the difference in spacing here. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a different characteristic um, crocheting this stitch in around. The biggest thing and most important thing you need to know is when you connect these stitches, connect it in the very top of the first treble of the row. Now we're going to chain three and I'm going to turn. Now this is the row where I'm going to work front post treble crochet. Um, you're going to skip one, two, three, four. The first four stitches, which also make up kind of like the first cross here, crossover. Um, go ahead and skip those. I'm going to wrap the needle twice and you begin your treble crochet on the next set that is for the first two stitches. Now you're going to reach back and the two of the four stitches that we're going to, that we skipped at first we're going to use stitch three and four that we skipped which are the two that are kind of hidden back behind here. Um, use your, fi your, your finger um, and your thumb to kind of feel for them. They're easier to feel than they are to see but I'm hoping using the video you can still see that stitch right there. It's actually easier than it looks. I'm going pretty slow to try to show you where that other stitch is. I'm feeling for the needle to come over here. That way I get a complete wrap around that stitch. Okay. Now we just continue like you normally would with the Celtic weave. We're, we've already stitched uh, post stitches on this. We're going to skip these two. Um, let's do the next two stitches. Front post, treble, wrap it twice, treble crochet. Um, forgive the fast stitching here. I'm assuming if you're looking at this stitch that you know how to do treble crochets. So if you're a beginner looking at this stitch, um, you may want to also take a look at the treble crochet video and get some of those foundations down first um, so you don't get frustrated with this stitch. Okay, let's do two more of these. Let me get some more yarn. And again, it's just like in the Celtic weave. We're going to, you know, reach under and do this. Okay, I'm going to um, go ahead and finish the rest of this and I'll get right back to you once I get to the connecting point. Okay, I've now come to the to the corner of my piece and I wanted to show you what it looks like as you kind of near the last uh, four stitches. Um, I don't want you to get confused and try to connect here then it would be way too short. There are two stitches left here of the former row and two stitches hiding under here so we'll go ahead and do those. And the two that are hiding. Again, I, I apologize for doing this like Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, I, I just assumed that you understand how to do a treble crochet. That's all I'm doing here. So I'm not taking time to explain how to do each one. Okay. Um, now here's the turning chain that we started with at this row. We're really not going to use that. The only thing the, chain, the turning chain does is it gives us a chance to reach past the first four stitches. So all we need, all you need to remember is 
slip stitch in the very first, you know, in the top of the very first treble of the row. Now we're going to chain one, two, three, and we're going to turn. This will give you a chance to see what the back side looks like and the front side. Now this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to try to show you anyway. This is done just like the row with the front side facing. This is with the back side facing. We're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches. So the first cross we're going to skip and then we're going to start working on the second set of four clusters or cross, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a back post treble crochet there. Okay, well, if I can get it through, oh boy, don't you just love it when the yarn splits? Okay, I'm going to now, um, these are the two stitches here that I'm going to wrap around, but I'm going to come in the back door, so to speak, if you can see that. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. The back coming in the back door on these stitches it's always more difficult to show that okay so we've established that we skip the first four start in the fifth and sixth stitches and then come back and do the third and fourth stitches that we skipped now you just continue to work the um, the back post treble crochet row just like you would following the instructions on the other Celtic weave video okay Always skip two stitches and then come back. And here are the two stitches that we skipped. Again, going in from the back door. Okay. I'm going to finish these two stitches. And there you have it. I'll be right back. Okay. Now that we've, um, I've finished the row with the back post treble crochet and I just wanted to show you how to connect it in. Uh, make sure that you do the last four stitches here going backwards um, or, or I'm sorry working you know with the back post. Okay here is your turning chain if you want to see what that looks like um, and you're going to want to connect in again at the top of the treble crochet. Okay chain three and again skip the first cluster or the first four stitches and begin your stitching your front post treble crochets with these two. That would be stitch number four and five. And now we're going to go back to three and four that we skipped here and go ahead and work your treble crochets there. Okay, um, let me show you what we're working here. See, this could be a nice, nice cover for something. This is what the inside looks like. Not particularly pretty at all. And this is what this side looks like. Okay. Well, happy crocheting. God bless.